I didn't open it with the I right hand. I can't wait for head. the food. Oh, there it is. Yes. Wow. Mm. Smells oh. good. Mm. Looks it good does. too. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. nice and golden it's, brown. Uh, it's Danish mm. food, you know, from our Danish cuisine. Mm. Mm. It's um, meatballs, frikadelle. Mm. Frikadelle. Mm. And uh, potato salad, kartoffel salad. Okay. Kartoffel salad. Yeah. Okay. And then it sounds Indian salad. to me. It's frikadelle. Frikadelle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so what do you eat in, in the Philippines? Well, Filipinos are typically food lovers. We eat all kinds of food. Mm -hmm. But then, basically, rice is our staple food. Mm -hmm. And you have something like two to three viands per meal. Usually we have fish, combination of fish and meat or mm -hmm. beef. What is the, the Moldovan um, national cuisine? Well, a variety of dishes, but the traditional thing is considered to be maize. Mm -hmm out of which you make a very thick uh, kind of a porridge mm -hmm. and then you eat it with um, with sheep cheese, uh, with fish or with uh, meat stew or sometimes you can eat it with, with jam and with that's, that's really good that you say that because I mean in Zimbabwe which is like totally the other end of the world <laughs> yeah. we eat mm -hmm. so I mean that sounds to me like the same thing right because really? we have um, we also have like maize meal or a uh -huh. corn or whatever you want mm -hmm. to call it made into like porridge first and they mm -hmm. made really really thick except mm -hmm. of course the women cook it in Zimbabwe not oh. women. Mm -hmm. yeah because yeah. they are the strongest <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely men. but um and also we eat it with something totally different I mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we eat like it what? with um it's something that's like a, a caterpillar yeah. oh. Oh. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. Yes. a caterpillar a caterpillar you know it's like about oh. this size and it's like about that thick, uh, 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 you know, uh, and it's like it's like it's, it's black with little yellow rings. Hey, it's it, it's really good. It's really good. I mean, the French the French have their frogs legs. We have our caterpillar. This is just to show that I really really appreciate the food. Mm. <laughs> Some of that. Okay. Oh yeah, the Danish welfare has the best with frikadelle and kartoffel salad. We see you again on Thursday. Hi, Mia. I dag skal vi høre historien om et topmøde. Der var engang et stort topmøde, som skulle holdes i Danmark. Det foregik på den måde, at en masse ledere fra over 100 forskellige lande i verden skulle mødes i Danmark for at diskutere en masse sociale problemer. Alle toplederne var glade for, at det skulle være i Danmark, for de blev indlogeret på de allerbedste hoteller, der fandtes. Formålet med mødet var at løse alle verdens sociale problemer. Men det gjorde de ikke. Godnat og sov godt. Ungdomsprogrammet Transit blev præsenteret af et lille hertugdømme i Centraleuropa. De er så grimme, at det burde være forbudt, og så stinkende stupide, at man skulle tro, det var en joke. Men de er blevet hammerende populære på deres hensynsløst hervende adfærd og deres evindelige kanalslalom foran flimmeren. Vi sender i alt 11 afsnit af Beavis and Butthead, og husk nu, at det kun er tegnefilm. Vi kan ikke anbefale dig at kopiere de to supernørders hjernedøde påfund. <tryk>